Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this short episode, I'd like to show you uh, how you can connect a Microsoft list or SharePoint list um, from uh, Microsoft Access. Uh, the idea is sometimes you need to uh, mass delete or do some changes and, and you want to do it through Access. So how do we do it? So uh, I'll go to the search and look for Microsoft Access. I'll just create a, a new database um, and what I want to do is go to external data and under new data sources under form online I'll choose SharePoint list. Now I will choose uh, the URL of the site in this case I find it if I can if I don't find it I'll just type it here. Now I have two possibilities to import the source or to link it. Uh, as the, I want everything to be in, in SharePoint, I'll keep it as a link. I'll just press next. And now I need to choose which uh, list I want to connect. So I'll connect to a, a list called David, the one we saw before. Press OK and you see here I see the same list I saw in SharePoint. So let's just uh, have a peek. See first name, last name, and sales. And let's say I want to change something. Uh, for instance, I want the last name will be uh, David here, and David will sell 1000. And here I want to change uh, something else. Uh, let's call it. Um, Ami and uh, let's call it DDD and he's selling 2000 so I'll, I'll press save and let's see what happens so I'll refresh this list and now I see the last name is David the sales have been changed to a thousand and also to 2000 now um, I found this useful um, uh, as sometimes you need to delete uh, mass amount or, or do some changes and access is like a database and list uh, has the problem of threshold. So um, just to demonstrate to you I can um, just uh, mark all of these, click delete and uh, it did it. I have here only two items. I'll refresh here and uh, you see I have two items. Um, it's also uh, very easy to copy and paste. Um, so you see if I copy this, I can do it very fast uh, because this is access is actually um, a small uh, database. If I need to do this um, in uh, Microsoft list, it would uh, might uh, be less uh, comfortable. So I'll just refresh this and um, look how easy. So of course uh, as we are using a SharePoint and Microsoft list then you have the filters and views but the access can give you uh, uh, functionality. Um, just to show you yes if I I just want to control A marks all of the data here I'll just click delete and look how fast I'll just refresh. Now uh, it's also uh, not that good because if somebody does that and all of a sudden he can do that then uh, it can destroy uh, a lot but don't forget we also have a recycle bin so if I go to the gear icon site content and we have a recycle bin yeah I can mark everything and press the restore button and then if I go to the site content again and look for the the list of David then uh, everything has been retrieved you see 14 items so um, this is a, a functionality that most people don't know but um, it's useful okay Thank you have a, and have a nice day.